Alrighty, I'm going to show you guys high idle switches on an OBD2, that is to say 96 to 2000, 6.5 diesel. Um, here's my switches. They are backwards of where I want them to be, but they still work. So um, Behind your glove box is your ECM. Take that out. In the middle plug, top row, plugs number or pins number 6 and 7 have no wires in them. And what you do is you go to a GM dealer and they give you the little pins that go in the ECM. And you crimp on your wires and you run your wires to the switches and then you ground your switches. I have mine grounded there. Now, when you start it, now like I said these are both backwards so eventually the way it's going to work is the left hand switch is going to be the lower of the two. Um, but right, right now it's the right one and also they're upside down so this is off, this is on, but you get the idea. So this is a cold start. Okay, now the first one is uh, uh, 1070. The next one is 1350, I believe. And then if you hit them both, you get 1600. So that's how you do high idle switches on an OBD2-65. Uh, you can also do it for OBD1. I'm sure it's just as easy, but I haven't done that for mine because I don't have an OBD1-65. So, there you go. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching.